All right, I got a Sony RX10 III in front of me. This is 4K, and if anybody doesn't know, this is one heck of a super zoom. This thing, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to show you just how far it zooms. But the target tonight will be the sun. Might zoom in on that farm after I'm done just to show you how wicked this is. But what I got in front of me here, this is a solar filter that I kind of made. It's just the solar paper and then this uh, plastic mount with a screw and th thread for the end of this camera. We got one big solar spot or a medium one, but then there's four other ones and I hope that they're not gone. They're right in line. Let's check it out. Okay, that dot you see there is the sun. I'm gonna try to zoom in. I'll have to adjust the camera. Yeah, them four dots are still there. Hope I got it focused. What are them dots? I can go back into uh, black and white. That zoomed all the way in. And you know what I'm going to do is go into autofocus. That's better. What is that? That was a bird that went in front of it. Pardon me for shaking, but this thing is punching out there. That's a solar spot in the middle. And there's one, two, three, four lines right in front of that and it's not the camera at all i'm going to go into black and white and see if i can do something right, else now i'm it. under black and white and you can see it a lot better i'm going to zoom in all the way That is freaking weird. What is that? Huh? I don't know. I just figured I'd take this out today. Good day to do it. Got the night off from work. And with all the solar flare, solar storms we've been having, I am going to up or lower my shutter speed. Trying to see if I can't get that to work better. How about the ISO? That's got to be some kind of satellites or something in front of it sitting there. Like I said, I'm going to zoom out, and you're going to watch. It's it's right in front of the sun. See that? I moved the camera lens. It's still there. It's not shadows. There ain't no way that's perfectly lined up solar, uh, solar spots. There's no way. Could try taking a picture. I think what I'm going to do, I'll show you how far this zooms by land. And I might climb up on a ridge. And we're going to see if them are still there when it's going down where... Hopefully, I don't need a solar filter. Okay, right here, I'm zoomed all the way out with this thing. There's a silo, probably over a half a mile away, maybe more. I 
That's how far this camera zooms in. So. They're pretty awesome cameras. All right, I'm up on a ridge. I live down in a valley. I'm at an old cemetery. I don't think that's got a date on it. Got a decent amount of clouds moving in now. I could try going into uh, another mode. Starting to get grainy enough that I'm turning my ISO up, so I'm going to switch, try to take this thing off the filter, and we'll go regular. Okay, I have the filter completely off, and you can see the sunspot. I don't know if I turn my... Look at that, it's so weird. I'm going to try to get some pictures with the... For it sets some uh, rough pictures. How cool is that? It's getting ready to set. Okay, it's setting, and they're still there. Could be sunspots. There you go. Some weird stuff going on on the sun. Until next time.